my subscribers, new subscribers, and old subscribers, and YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. What time is it? It's time for a shout out to my subscribers on December 1st, 2019. Boy, already December. Can you believe it? I can't. I'll tell you. All right, we do a shout out. This is a tool to uh, help my people support me by giving me a sub. Um, they, if they support me even better, it'd be good if they watch my stuff, leave a comment, and then uh, I go to their channel and leave a comment on their upload, and then sooner or later we get the views we need, we get the subs we need, and we start making some money on Google, and makes Google pissed, and then they have to make up more scare tactics trying to make people delete their channels <laughs> so they could have free content well you know when they scare people off making them delete their channels well, kind of screws youtube because uh, there's some awesome channels out there on youtube i love youtube i just don't like google i think they're a douchebag company and they just proved it more and more every day with more bullshit um, but, you know, COPA's not bullshit, and they're doing a good job. They need to regulate people that are tracking kids' shit. But unfortunately, on YouTube, we're uploaders. We're not tracking shit. We just want subs, and we want views, and that's okay. But all right, but if COPA feels I need to do it, let them do it. Um, if anybody's tracking anything, it's Google. They're going to track channels for ads, try to get ads for these channels to recoup for uploads on YouTube, which is okay, but really, you know, when you get a thousand subs and four thousand views and you finally get monetized, what are you going to make a whole penny a day? Way to go, Google, you douchebags. All right, let's go back. That's my little rant. Um, but let's go give thanks to people who give me subs. Um, and support my channel by let me grow and when I grow I send people up the ladder with me because I sub them I give them a sub back That's what I do and If they want to help me I help them um, And that should be the way it should be but unfortunately a lot of channels were just saying Hi welcome to my channel if you like my channel, please hit the red subscribe button, which is good yeah, because we want subs. And then you'll see a bell after you hit the sub button, and you'll click on that, and that notifies you that we did another upload. And you come back and watch that. Thank you. Some channels, though, even though they're just asking for a sub, if you ask them for a sub, they'll reply back and call you a spammer channel. You're like, you gotta spam my channel if you want me to do that again to my channel, ask for a sub again. I'll rip for your channel as a spammer. You're like, oh, what a dick. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not a dick. Uh, I feel like if somebody gives me a sub and likes my channel, great. Give me a sub. I'll give you a sub back when you're on my sub page. But unfortunately, if you read up here, I have a lot of subs. I don't know, a lot of 46 subs. I, on my old channel, I used to have uh, 1,180 subs, but I got scared about the Copa shit. And I was like, oh, I fucked myself. Because uh, I was not doing anything wrong. My channel was in a gray area, though. Do you know it's an RV Park Adventure channel? Um, I'm a full time RVer. There's a lot of adults that like to watch these videos to learn about RVing. Because they've been thinking about doing the same thing when they finally retire and the kids are out of the house and they say fuck the house we would sell the house and buy a travel trailer and cruise around the world or even worse uh, we find a good rv park we love we'll pull in and maybe we'll stay for for a while or at least uh till we figure out what we want to do after this and people do the RV park on that in West Texas is awesome. It's not the best RV park out there. Doesn't have a lot of amenities. Doesn't have bathhouses. Doesn't have a swimming pool or hot tubs or anything other than the basics. You got electricity. You got water and a sewer hookup. 
And if you want cable, you can call the cable company and they'll give you cable and internet. But you got to pay for that. But this RV park has two options too. You could pay the higher rent and that will cover electricity and and uh, take care of your yard. If you go for the lower rent, which I do, you got to take care of the yard and you got to pay for the electricity. And like I said, there's no free Wi-Fi here, but there is a cable company that's uh, providing the RV park with cable and internet and you call sudden like oh boy I plug in suddenly because I think they suck they're overpriced but oh well you're stuck where you wherever you're at you're stuck with that provider you can't tell those providers go jump in the lake because they're fucking people and they're getting away with it thank you congress you fucking douchebag scumbags okay there we go and on a, another rant. I do rants, people. I get pissed about bullshit. And government. And that's a bunch of crap. Alright, well, let's get back to what we're doing. Um, my shout-out should be pretty short and sweet because... Um, I don't have a lot of subs. But these are all my new subscribers. The people up top here, these were pretty recent. These were a couple of days coming down below here. So there we go. That's the end of my sub page. So it gets bigger. I get subs daily. So um, I welcome aboard new people. But you got to read up here, though, you know. And I'm going to a new point. Subscribers who share their subscriptions publicly are shown. That's these people here. I know it sucks. 42. Six subs for me, it sucks, but I don't hide my subs. Uh, don't go into, if you click on channel, and then go down below, you'll see advanced settings, and hit that, and then go to the bottom of the advanced settings, and you'll be able to change your sub settings to private or public. If you went to private, click it back to public, because nobody gives a shit about your sub count. Except for you, you want a thousand subs. Everybody wants a thousand subs, because that's what's required to get a whole penny a day. And then you, you know, once you get your thousand subs, I guess the clock starts ticking, um, saying, "Okay, you got your thousand subs. Well, you need four thousand view hours before uh, you can be monetized on YouTube to make." A penny a day and get paid to put up with you know if you're finally getting paid for putting up the bullshit of being a youtuber um when you upload youtube you get people are assholes they try to bully you they try to harass you uh, and all sorts of little bullshit things you gotta deal with and if you're not getting paid for it it kind of sucks so at least you're finally monetized when you get the thousand subs and 400 uh, or 4,000 view hours. I think it's 4,000. Uh, let's check. We'll go to my channel status. If I was doing something wrong, I'd have community guidelines. Because i got to follow community guidelines. Else I'll lose my channel. You get so many stroke strikes of those, you lose your channel. You yeah, have copyright strikes. If I uploaded uh, copyright material, um, I would lose my channel. You get throw three of those, boom, I lose your channel. So, boom, that sucks. All right, if I want to get mantras, these are the requirements. We'll hit it. I'm not eligible yet because I only have 46 subs. I would have been if I wouldn't have been a pussy and, and uh, deleted my old channel. I didn't, didn't delete it because I got in trouble. I deleted it because I got scared like a dumb little pussy. I should have kept my channel. Um, and just tell Google, fuck you, pay up, pay up. I wasn't making tons of money anyway. I was making luck. If I was lucky, I was making a penny or two cents a day. But, you know, it all adds up. But here's your requirements. Uh, you have to have a thousand subs. I got 49, so boom. I know I got views, but I don't see this thing moving. So yeah, 4,000 watch hours needed. Three public watch hours. Oh, okay. I got three of them. <laughs> God, 
three public watch hours so far. I need 4,000 of them. So I guess this clock is ticking. It ain't ticking big, but oh well. So I'm trying to get my thousand subs. So there you go. But yeah, crazy. The things you want to do for a penny of the day and all the bullshit you got to deal with. Um, not saying COPA's a crappy thing. They're protecting kids. They should protect kids. And I th think uh, they should have sued the shit out of Google. Big time. I don't like Google even tracking my shit. I think that should be illegal. <laughs> and I'm 54. So, yeah. But again, if you did set your sub count to private, you don't want to show it, but you forgot where you, where you did it and how you did it, you just go to your channels, click on that, go down here to event settings, and uh, scroll down the page here. It's just right there. Google doesn't fuck with this. You're the one that had to do it, but you might have forgot or didn't care or something and think it was hurting you. But click back up here and hit save and you're good. The reason I'm telling you to do that is because um, when you go private you're not you're going to hurt yourself. You're not going to land on anybody's sub page and if you're doing if you're subbing to somebody like me I want to give you a sub for support my channel. I can't do that because I don't know who you are. And unfortunately, I don't trust people. I don't trust people on YouTube. It's the internet. You don't trust people on the internet. If you do, you're a douche. Um, I get a lot of people say, I'll sub. And I'm like, yeah, not yet. You're not sub to I see you on my sub page. Sorry. Stay sub when you finally get on my sub page. Boom, you get a sub. There's nothing wrong doing that. There's nothing wrong about subbing people that support your channel by giving you a sub or supporting your, your channel by um, watching your stuff, leaving a comment, and then uh, that makes it easier for me to support the people who support my channel more because then I can click on their comment, go to their channel, watch your stuff, leave a comment, and then they got a view from me, and then I help them out. But meanwhile, I, I don't mind if they just want to Use me for a stepping stone to climb up the ladder. That's what I do with the people who don't comment on my channel's uploads. I'll just use them for a stepping stone to climb up the ladder. Um, other than that, that's the only thing I do on YouTube. Is I want subs and I want views. Um, try not to piss people off because if you piss people off, they don't come to your channel. They unsub you and your channel doesn't grow. But I do appreciate everybody and I try to do a shout out every other every other day or every every day. It just depends if I get new arrivals or something because sometimes I don't get subs. And uh, why well, make another video? But other than that, this is a new one for Sunday. I hope everybody had a great Sunday. Thanks again for subscribing. Um, please watch my material too, leave a comment, makes me easier to know who's watching my stuff and I can go to your channel and watch your stuff and leave a comment, makes you, makes it easier for you to know who's supporting your channels and boom, we start making Google Cash. Alright, we'll talk to you later and thanks again everybody, have a safe Sunday, we'll talk to you later, bye bye.